Hello, welcome back to Learn British English Free on YouTube. This is the first lesson of 2017 and let me start by wishing you a very happy new year and hoping that 2017 brings you lots of success, especially in learning English if that's what you want to do. The topic of this first lesson is a television programme that has been made recently called The Crown. It's about the Queen when she first became the Queen in the 1950s and it is published on Netflix. The first series has 10 episodes. This lesson is about some vocabulary and expressions which are used in episode one. I'm going to cover the whole series, so I'll do one lesson for each of the 10 episodes. For the others, I won't publish them on Learn British English Free. You'll need to contact me on the website or by email, cjworkman17 at yahoo.com. But in each lesson, I will be explaining the vocabulary and then telling you when the quote is in the episode and what the context is of the quote. So what is the meaning in the episode itself? It'll help you understand what is happening in the program, The Crown. The first expression in episode one is chance would be a fine thing, which is like an idiom. And Philip says it to Elizabeth after around five minutes. They are talking about a party he is going to have and she says to him, try to get some sleep. And he replies with that expression, chance would be a fine thing. And we say this when we are referring to a situation or something we would like to happen, but which is not going to happen. So of course he would like to get some sleep, but because he's going to a party, then he knows that it is not possible. The second one is a noun match. Match. This comes up in the episode when two women are speaking about Philip and Elizabeth getting married. And the noun match here refers to a relationship or a marriage, the match between two people in a relationship. Not a single person supported the match. It means a lot of people didn't think that Elizabeth and Philip should get married. Some vocabulary to do with the Navy. Philip uh, was in the Navy and his role, his position was Lieutenant. He was then promoted to a higher position, Lieutenant Commander. Notice the pronunciation, Lieutenant, Elizabeth says. She also speaks about gold rings. Her quote was, my husband will soon no longer be Lieutenant Mountbatten, but Lieutenant Commander Mountbatten, which involves a whole new gold ring for me to sew onto your uniform. And men, when they're in the Navy, have some patterns on their clothes, gold rings. The more rings they have, the higher their position. So when Philip became Lieutenant Commander, a higher position, he needed an extra gold ring on his uniform. Vocabulary. The cabinet. This is what a radio presenter says during some news that we hear on the radio in the episode. We await the announcement of the new cabinet in the coming days. The cabinet here is a special name for the ministers in the government who work for the Prime Minister. They are the most senior politicians. We have the Prime Minister, of course. There's also the Chancellor in charge of the, econ the economy and many other politicians, for example, the Foreign Secretary, the Home Secretary. All of those main politicians for the government can uh, create the cabinet. Count someone out is an idiom we hear when the king is speaking about Winston Churchill. He says, they keep trying to count him out, 
but he keeps getting back up. Count him out in this context comes from boxing. In boxing, if someone is knocked out, hit on the head, they fall on the floor, the referee will count to 10. And if they don't get up, then they lose. And that action of the referee counting, he's counting them out. So this is a metaphor. He's saying that people always try to defeat Winston Churchill to beat him, but he keeps metaphorically getting back up. They can't defeat him. The last one in episode one I wanted to tell you about is administration. This is a noun with a special meaning in this context because administration means government. The quote is by Winston Churchill during his speech. What this nation needs is several years of strong, steady, experienced administration. In this quote, administration means government. Another example, I looked it up on the UK's government's official website recently about the deputy prime minister. We don't have one. And it says on the website, the current administration does not have a deputy prime minister. Other ways we often use it in Britain is when talking about the government in the United States. We will say the Obama administration or a focus of the Trump administration in 2017 will be who knows what. We will wait and see. That concludes the first lesson about the Crown series. This was about episode one. I will follow the same pattern for other lessons and I will complete them for two to ten. Please contact me on the website. There is a Skype lessons tab. I'm teaching the lessons on Skype now, so please do drop me a line. I will let you know what you need to do to access the other lessons for episodes two to ten if you are interested in this vocabulary and the television programme. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will join me as well on YouTube, Facebook and the main website www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk during this year 2017. It's good to see you. I wish you a successful new year and I will be back soon. See you then. Goodbye.